and the omnibus. So I was forced into the arches when I was a child. And look, it's come back to bite me later on. I'm awash with the stuff. The Archers is the world's longest running radio show, with more than 15,000 episodes broadcast. Despite being a rural flavour show, The Archers is recorded in the heart of the UK's second largest city, Birmingham. You're listening to Monday's episode of The Archers from BBC Radio 4. <laughs> No problem. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Yep. OK, bye now. Hello, Lily. More new arrivals? Uh, actually, that was Mrs Meller, the lady who's buying Bartleby. Ah. I'm not sure Eddie and George are expecting her tomorrow. No, no, she has some other things to attend to in the area, so she's coming a few days early. Mm. But she wanted to check she could park her horse box here. Well, of course. Right, yes. But I told her it should be fine. I must say, she sounded really warm and, you know, very genuine. Yeah. Emma and George said the same. Mm. I think the Grundys will miss Bartleby rather more than they're letting on. Mm. Anyway, I, I have some news. Oh? I've just come off the phone with Roy. Oh, I bet he's having a lovely time with Lexi. So lovely, he doesn't want to come back. Yeah, I bet. No, no, I'm serious. He's not coming back. I'm sorry? He's got some annual leave owing, so he's given us notice. Leaving with immediate effect. I don't know what to say. No, nor do I. Grey cables can't run without Roy. Well, uh, Sorry, I, I just mean it won't be the same. Um, no, no, I, I agree <laughs> on both counts. What are you going to do? Well, we'll have to recruit a new manager, but, well, that'll take a few months. Yeah, I'm sure. And in the meantime, I'll have to step up myself. Right. I've done it before, but not quite like this. No, Roy's so very hot on detail and... Dealing with the guests, he's so good with them. Yes. I assume this means things are working out with Lexi. Very much so. He's learning Bulgarian, Ooh. and one of her daughters has him helping out at a local children's centre, supporting young people with Down syndrome. Oh, Bethany will be super impressed. She is, by all accounts. He said she and Abby are planning to visit him over the summer. With Vicky and Mike, of course. Oh, fantastic. But... What a huge decision. I wish him the absolute best. Of course I do, but it'll have an impact here. Mm, I'm sure you'll cope, Oliver. With the help of the staff. And you, of course. Um, yes, on that note, I wonder if you'd had time to sign my assessment for uni. Uh, did you give it to me? I, I put it on your desk yesterday. Oh. Uh, uh, remind me when you finish here. Yeah? End of next week. But it's been wonderful work experience, Oliver. I'm so grateful. Next week? That's right. So you're leaving us as well? I'm afraid so, yeah. I'm sorry, Oliver. I'd better get this. Yes, yes. Uh, you go ahead. <clears throat> uh, I'll arrange a staff meeting later to tell everyone the news. Great. Good morning, Grey Gables Hotel. How can I help? A coffee, is it, mate? Thanks. Come in right up. I've uh, got another horse to see in an hour. Oh, well, I, I just need a quick word. Um, so, no pressure or out, but did you fancy coming to Nets this week? I'm sorry, I don't think I can. I'm so busy. You don't think the gear shift would do you good? Oh, I certainly would, but what with Martha... And... Oh, sure, I understand. We uh, did well against Waterley Cross, mine. Another win. Yeah, well done. And I heard about Linda's idea for a fancy new kit for cup matches. Oh, yeah. Pink and lime green, apparently. Mm. Oh, sorry, mate. Uh, just excuse me a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hang on, hang on. Hold your horses. Hi there. I've got your veg box for you. Oh, great. Thanks. Should I bring it through? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Hey, your uncle Chris is here. Oh, great. Uh, glad I caught you. Do you know when you're going to do Bartle B2 for trim? Oh, sorry, George. I never rang you back, did I? It needs to before Friday. Uh, all right. Let me check my calendar. Um, uh, how is Thursday lunchtime? Half one. That'll do. Yeah. I uh, assume you heard about Alice, George. Uh, do you mean the court thing? Yeah. My dad reckons she said not guilty. But that's right. I only found out yesterday. Me too. So, what's it mean? You'll probably have to go to court. 
Joy, Mick, Alistair, Denise, yourself and uh, and Fallon, of course. I'm sorry about that. That won't be easy. Which court will it be? Crown Court in Felpersham. A proper trial. Oh. But it'll all be explained to you. Oh, uh, OK. She's, um, saying she didn't do it then? Unbelievably, yeah. Hmm. But it's, it's nothing for you to worry about, George. Right. I'd, uh, I'd best get on with my deliveries. OK, uh, thanks for this. Uh, I'll see you Thursday. You sure. Bye. So, Alice didn't tell you herself. Adam told me yesterday. When she said not guilty, my colleague said there were a bit of a murmur around the court. I don't know anything about it, to be fair. We only talk about Martha. Right. I've been so angry since Friday. Yeah, I, I, I get that. Hey, have you, uh, have you got a minute? Um, well, it's just a quick chat while I put these veggies away. Uh, yeah, OK then. Damn! What's it done now? Sorry to bother you, Oliver. Ah, oh, Lily, just the person. How do I print these spreadsheets? It keeps cutting off the final column. Uh, let's see. Ah, the margins are on the wrong setting. Okay. I need to double check it, otherwise we won't have a star for Ota. Uh, for the autumn, you mean? No, for July and August. Uh, Oliver, people already have their rota for the whole summer. After that mix-up with Mick being on reception, I've finalised and checked it all for you. Remember? Ah, uh, that's better. Yes, yes. Uh, there were a couple of late requests for annual leave, so I've had to alter some of the shifts. Oh, I could have helped you with that. Uh. Sorry, you've got me covering reception in August. Oh, I, I need to change that. And hasn't Veronica got her wrist operation on Monday? Has she? Ah, oh, that's my assessment on the cabinet. Is it? Uh, it just needs signing, if that's OK. Uh, all right. Oliver? Uh, juggling all the shifts is exactly what Roy does so well. Yes, he's a stickler for detail, and he particularly knows what's going on with staff. As do you, clearly. Uh, Lily, I have a proposal for you. A proposal? Something for you to think about. Oh, OK. I'd like you to be my assistant. Assistant? Until you go back to university. Um... Or until we have a new manager. It'll be a paid position, of course. I'm sure we can work something out. I, um... I did actually have some plans for the summer. Are you going into railing or something? No, no, I mean, I wish. No, um, it was just going to be... What? My, um... Oh, no, it's silly. Your what? M my hot girl, Summer. Sorry? A running joke with me and Paul. Anyway, I, I was looking forward to some time off. Ah. Well, I'm going to have to postpone my trip to the States. So oh, are you visiting your daughter? It'll have to be later in the year. Uh, will you at least consider my offer, Lily? You know the ropes well, most of them. You're very handy with the technology and you're proving yourself very efficient. Well... Um. That's kind, thank you. Well, yes, I, I will absolutely consider it. Thank you. So, if you could just sign my assessment... Consider it signed. Mm, except it does need an actual physical signature. Hmm. Uh, yeah, so here's a pen, and you sign just... Right, uh, got it. Done. Ah, oh, thanks, Oliver. <laughs> Now, uh, would you like me to double-check the rotor? No, 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 I, I can do that. You go back to reception. Of course. Oh, uh, what time's the staff meeting? Staff meeting? To tell people about Roy. Uh, oh, um, I, I haven't called it yet, but uh, uh, thanks for reminding me. I, I need to finish this blessed rotor first. Right. Well, good luck. <laughs> hmm. So, Veronica. Damn. May have to start again from scratch. Oh, hey, fantastic. Tom's given us some chart. Mm. Cook a stir for having that tonight. I'm sorry we haven't managed to catch up for so long, mate. Oh, yeah, it does feel like ages. Yeah. Having Martha with me full time, there's not a minute to think about anything else. Of course not. You're flat out. I can see that. And Harrison, I was sorry to hear about Fallon losing the pregnancy. Yeah. So, how's she feeling now? And how are you? We're, uh, okay, I suppose. Get in there. 
she's um, not happy about the prospect of having to go to court, mind you, but there uh, might be no other choice. Yeah. There's only one person with any choice here, and that's Alice. Hmm. Have you really no idea why she's done this? I swear I've no clue. Adam said it was... I don't know. He, he mentioned she had some kind of instinct. Instinct? About what? Is she having a laugh? Well, no. I mean, I don't reckon so. I, it can happen. On the telly, maybe. Hmm. Oh, hey, Dad were telling me about the under-16 summer camp Hannah setting up. Oh, yeah. We uh, need to encourage the young'uns into cricket. Fresh blood and all that. I'm just sorry. I can't help with it. Or, or play any matches. The team's missing you, mate. Nah, you're on a winning streak, which proves you're doing fine without me. Well, I'm missing you, anyway. Thanks, mate. Oh, blimey, I'm going to have to scoot. Oh, yeah. Got to be in Darrington, but we'll catch up soon, yeah? Oh, yeah, 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 we will. Um, give me a shout when you're free. So Uncle Chris will trim your hooves, and Kira's going to plait your mane with some cornflowers. Well, I thought I saw you as I drove up the lane. Oh, hi, Oliver. He's looking good, isn't he? Very dapper. <laughs> Hello, old man. You can do me a favour while you're here. Yeah, well, can I? Uh, take a photo of me and Bartleby, will you, please? Grandpa were useless yesterday. Then Kira were worse. She couldn't even be bothered. I doubt I'd be much better. How come you're not at work? Just poppy back to finish some paperwork. Ugh, I hate paperwork, me. Yeah, I'm afraid it's unavoidable. Oh, uh, did you post that final video with Eddie? Doing it later. Hopefully no one will notice Grandpa's voice going all crackly because he kept getting upset. Not that he'd admit it. It'll be a big wrench for everyone. Yeah, it's worse for me, though. I'm the one who looks after Bartleby, checks on him every day. It's me who notices when something's wrong. Indeed. And he does the same for me, in a way. Doesn't surprise me. Horses can be remarkably intuitive. Yeah, Bartleby is. Any road, here you go. I need a close-up and a mid-shot. right out. Um, oh, the money's arrived, by the way. Sorry? Mrs Miller. I checked my account this morning and she's made the payment. Thought you'd like to know. She's done it already. No reason to delay, I suppose. Well, she ain't having him till Friday. Right. Uh, let's take this photo, then. Now, look over here, Bartleby. Bartleby! Come on, mate. Look at Oliver. Ugh, not again. It's, it's Jem. She's distracting him. She was like this yesterday. Shut up, Jem! Bartleby, you've got to concentrate. Ah, no, sorry. He keeps moving. He's been that awkward today. Well, he obviously wants to go and see Jem. <sighs> Bartleby! Oh, I'm never going to get this photo. Eddie mentioned you're doing a farewell tour around the village tomorrow evening. Yeah, Grandpa's taken the trap with Jem. If she's not been too much of a pain. And I'll walk beside them with Bartleby. Jazz is going to roan full cup to say goodbye. Well, you'll get some good photos then, I'm sure. Hopefully. You two ponies better be in a more cooperative mood tomorrow, right? Oh, they'll rise to the occasion. Poor Jem. She's really going to miss him. Yeah, I know. She's not the only one. Part of the uh, paraphernalia of production. Uh, yep, that's uh, the ball bar. That's this one. Yep, that's. I mean, Haley so wanted to be in their own place when their baby came. It's uh, due in two months. Uh, not much chance of that now. No. I mean, it would have been a stretch for them financially, mind, but oh, I just wish there was something practical I could do to help them, Caroline. I mean, I think the archers has had this immense popularity over the years, um, basically because it has always very accurately reflected the reality of life and living in a rural community at whatever